Hey there, green thumbs and aspiring gardeners. Ever thought about growing your own food? Fresher, tastier, and right in your own home? Well, get ready to ditch the dirt and dive into the world of hydroponics. Hydroponics is like giving your plants a VIP upgrade. Instead of soil, they grow in a nutrient-rich water solution. It's like a spa day for your greens. And the best part? You can do it right in your living room, garage, or even a spare closet. Now I know what you're thinking, Mike. Hydroponics sounds complicated. Trust me, it's easier than you think. With a few simple materials and this handy guide, you'll be growing your own salad in no time. So are you ready to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty? Well, not dirty, but wet. Let's get started. Before we build our hydroponic haven, we need to make sure we have all the necessary tools and materials at hand. This preparation step is crucial for a smooth and successful setup. Let's gather our tools and materials. Having everything organized and within reach will save us time and effort as we move forward. Don't worry, we're keeping it simple and budget-friendly. You don't need to break the bank to start your hydroponic garden. Many of these items can be found at affordable prices. First, let's talk about the container. A large plastic storage tote works great. It's spacious enough to hold your plants and water, and it's easy to find. Make sure it's opaque to prevent algae growth. Algae can thrive in clear containers because they allow light to penetrate which can disrupt the growth of your plants. Next, we have net pots. These hold your plants securely and allow their roots to dangle in the water, giving them access to the nutrients they need. The design of net pots ensures that the roots have plenty of space to grow and absorb water efficiently. For our growing medium, we'll use coco coir. It's a sustainable and airy alternative to soil, providing excellent drainage and aeration for the roots. Coco coir is also environmentally friendly, as it's made from the husks of coconuts, making it a great choice for eco-conscious gardeners. An air pump and air stones are essential for keeping the water oxygenated. This ensures that your plant roots stay healthy and happy, promoting vigorous growth. Tubing is used to connect the air pump to the air stones. It's a simple but vital component that helps distribute oxygen throughout the water. Nutrient solution is what provides your plants with all the essential nutrients they need to thrive. It's like a superfood for your plants, ensuring they get everything they need to grow strong and healthy. A pH meter or test kit is crucial for monitoring and adjusting the acidity of your water solution. Keeping the pH level in check is important for nutrient absorption. Grow lights are optional but highly recommended if you're growing indoors or in a low light area. They provide the necessary light spectrum for photosynthesis, helping your plants grow even in less than ideal lighting conditions. See? Simple stuff you can find online at your local garden center or even repurposed from around your home. Starting a hydroponic garden doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. Many of these items are readily available and can be sourced from various places making it easy to get started. You can even get creative and repurpose household items for your hydroponic setup. The possibilities are endless, and the results can be incredibly rewarding. Alright, let's build this thing. This is going to be an exciting journey into the world of hydroponics, where you can grow plants without soil, using just water and nutrients. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or a complete beginner, this guide will walk you through every step of the process. Follow these easy steps to create your very own hydroponic system. It's simpler than you might think, and the results are incredibly rewarding. Imagine fresh herbs, vegetables, or even flowers growing right in your home all year round. 1. Prep your container. Clean your container thoroughly. This is crucial to prevent any contaminants from affecting your plants. Use a mild soap and water and make sure to rinse it well. A clean start ensures healthy growth. Drill or cut holes in the lid to fit your net pots. The size of the hole should be just right to hold the net pot snugly. This step is important because it ensures that your plants will stay in place as they grow. Make sure the holes are slightly smaller than the net pots to keep them snug. This prevents the pots from falling through and keeps your plants stable. A snug fit is key to a successful hydroponic setup. 1. Soak your coco coir. Hydrate your coco coir in a separate container according to the package instructions. Coco coir is a great growing medium because it retains moisture well and provides a good structure for the roots. This stuff expands like crazy, it's fascinating to watch it grow as it absorbs water. Make sure it's fully hydrated before moving on to the next step. 1. Fill your net pots. Once the coco coir is ready, fill your net pots, leaving about an inch of space at the top. This space is important for the roots to have enough room to grow and for easy watering. Make sure not to overfill the pots. The roots need space to breathe and expand. 
proper filling ensures that your plants will have the best environment to thrive. 1. Plant your seeds or seedlings. Gently place your seeds or seedlings in the cocoa coir. Be careful not to damage the delicate roots. This is the beginning of your plant's journey in their new hydroponic home. Give them a little water to settle in. This helps to establish the roots and gives your plants a good start. Just a gentle watering is enough at this stage. 1. Place net pots in the container. Insert the net pots into the holes in the lid of your container. Make sure they fit securely. This setup will support your plants as they grow. 1. Add water and nutrients. Fill your container with water, leaving enough space below the net pots so the roots aren't submerged. This is crucial to prevent root rot and ensure that your plants get the right amount of oxygen. Check the water level carefully. The roots should be able to reach the water without being completely submerged. This balance is key to a healthy hydroponic system. Mix in your nutrient solution according to the instructions. These nutrients are essential for your plant's growth, providing them with everything they need to thrive. 1. Connect the air pump. Connect the tubing to your air pump and air stones. This setup will keep the water oxygenated, which is vital for the health of your plants. Place the air stones in the container to keep the water oxygenated. This ensures that the roots get enough oxygen, which is crucial for their growth and overall health. 1. Plug it in and watch it grow. Plug in your air pump and if using your grow lights. These lights will provide the necessary light spectrum for photosynthesis, especially if you're growing indoors. Congratulations, you've built a hydroponic system. Now all you need to do is monitor the water levels, nutrient concentration, and light exposure. With a little care and attention, you'll soon see your plants thriving. Enjoy the fruits of your labor and the joy of growing your own plants hydroponically. Now for the fun part, choosing what to grow. For hydroponic beginners, I recommend starting with leafy greens like lettuce, spinach, or herbs. They're fast-growing, forgiving, and oh-so-satisfying to harvest. Once you feel more confident, you can branch out to other veggies like tomatoes, peppers, or even strawberries. The sky's the limit, or should I say the ceiling of your grow room. Feeding your Hydro Heroes Nutrient Solutions Remember that nutrient solution we talked about? That's the magic potion that keeps your plants happy and healthy. You can buy pre-mixed solutions or get your hands dirty, figuratively of course, and mix your own. Look for solutions specifically designed for hydroponics. They contain the perfect balance of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and other essential micronutrients. Just follow the instructions on the bottle for mixing and feeding schedules. Hydroponic housekeeping maintenance made easy. Keeping your hydroponic system running smoothly is easier than you think. With just a few simple steps, you can ensure your plants thrive and your system operates efficiently. Here are a few key tasks. First, check water levels. This is crucial because water is the lifeblood of your hydroponic system. Top up the water level as needed. It's important to maintain a consistent water level to ensure your plants get the hydration they need. Plants tend to drink more as they grow. Next, monitor pH levels. The pH level of your water can significantly impact plant health. Use your pH meter or test kit to ensure the water's acidity is within the optimal range for your plants. Most plants prefer a pH between 5.5 and 6.5, adjust as needed using pH up or down solutions. This will help maintain the right balance and prevent nutrient lockout. Then, change the nutrient solution. Nutrients are essential for plant growth, and over time, the solution can become depleted. Every two to three weeks, it's time for a fresh batch of nutrients. This ensures your plants have a steady supply of the essential elements they need. Empty the old solution, rinse the container, and mix up a new batch. This helps prevent the buildup of unwanted residues and keeps your system clean. And lastly, keep it clean. A clean system is a healthy system. Regular maintenance can prevent many common issues. Regularly wipe down the inside of your container and check for any signs of algae or pests. Early detection can save your plants from potential damage. With a little TLC, your hydroponic system will keep churning out fresh produce like a well-oiled machine. Consistent care and attention to detail will reward you with bountiful harvests. Troubleshooting time common hydroponic hiccups. Even experienced hydroponic gardeners encounter a bump in the road now and then. Here are a few common issues and how to fix them. First, algae growth. If you see green slime, it's time to increase water circulation or add an algae control product. Next, nutrient deficiencies. 
yellowing leaves or stunted growth could indicate a nutrient imbalance. Adjust your nutrient solution or consult a plant expert, and then, pests. While less common in hydroponics, pests can still be an issue. Inspect your plants regularly and treat any infestations promptly. Remember the key is to identify the problem early and take action. With a little detective work you can keep your hydroponic garden thriving. Harvesting happiness, enjoying your homegrown bounty, the moment you've been waiting for, harvest time. There's nothing quite like snipping fresh herbs for your dinner or adding homegrown lettuce to your salad. Remember to harvest your produce at the peak of ripeness for the best flavor and nutritional value. And don't be afraid to experiment in the kitchen with your hydroponic bounty. Join the hydro revolution, so what are you waiting for? Join the hydroponic revolution and experience the joy of growing your own food, no matter where you live. It's fun, it's rewarding, and it's good for the planet. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more DIY tips and tricks. Let's get growing.